Hello. In this tutorial, we're going to show how to use the arc fitting functionality that's available in Aspire and VCarve Pro to improve the quality of CNC toolpaths. Here we've got the Veleset file open. This was the, the file that we used to demonstrate the image tracing functionality where we took a, a JPEG or a bitmap file <clears throat> and automatically vectorized the boundaries. If we switch the image off for a moment, make sure we, we've got layer one selected as our active or current working layer. Hide the menu. If we zoom into the, the letter V there for a moment and we use the node editing tool, you'll see that the vector boundaries that have been created are a combination of straight line moves so from a black node to a black node is a straight line and what we call Bezier curves. Where we have a blue node, this, is, this represents a Bezier curve. So a Bezier curve means that if we click on the white handle there and pull, the curve will automatically always flow smoothly through that point. If we say Control Z to edit and do, <clears throat> what this means when we're calculating CNC toolpaths is where there's a Bezier curve, so for example from this blue node to this blue node, the software has to calculate lots of short point-to-point -point moves. And if your CNC control system isn't set up or tuned very precisely, you may see or experience juddering on the machine, or the machine simply won't run very smoothly around this region of the design. If the CNC control system is set up correctly, with the acceleration velocity settings correct, then you shouldn't see any problems when machining Bezier spans. Let's just F to zoom to fit. You click the right hand mouse button twice to deselect everything. I'm going to select the complete design by clicking and dragging. Toggle from the drawing tab on the left to the toolpath tab on the right. Let's just check our material setup for a moment. Half inch thick material Let's say we have a retract height of 0.2 of an inch and at the end of cutting we want the cutter to go one inch above the material. Click OK. I'm going to use a very simple profile machining toolpath to, to show the different results that we get. If you say profile toolpath, let's say cut to a depth of 0 0.4, 0 0.04, so 40 thousandths depth machining with the tip of the cutter on the selected vectors. We select a cutter Let's use a 60 degree quarter inch diameter engraving bit. If we calculate this toolpath, the software is automatically opened a three dimensional view for us there. If we preview the, the results, we're just going to scratch or engrave the tip of the cutter around the selected vectors. If we close the preview view, save this toolpath. So save toolpath. Let's use the G-code ARCS post processor and save. Let's call this profile one and save. If we say save again, if we look at the properties for this, you'll see that the size of that file is 42 kilobytes. Cancel the save form for a moment. Close the save form. Toggle back to the the drawing tab on the left. Just going to split or tile the views here, so tile the, the windows horizontally. So in the top we've got the the vector geometry drawn in the two-dimensional view and on the bottom we've got the three-dimensional view. Just drag and select the vectors. If we now use the arc fitting functionality, so fit curves or arcs to the selected vectors, we're going to say fit circular arcs. Let's say we want to fit the arcs to within a tolerance of say six thousandths of an inch. Replace the, the selected vectors and fit curves. Close the form for a moment. Now if we zoom in, let's just double click to maximize the size of the two dimensional view. If we zoom in and go to node editing mode, you'll see that now we've got all black nodes. So we've got black nodes that represent lines and arcs. So instead of having a, a Bezier curve for this area here, we've now got a circular arc. So if we click and drag on the white node, this is a circular arc segment. Control Z. What the software can now do when it calculates the CNC toolpath code, instead of being lots of short point-to-point -point moves, the software can move from this point to this point in a single line of code, making the file size much smaller and also hopefully running the machine much smoother as well. So now if we go back to 
split the views, um, tile the views horizontally, toggle across to the toolpath menu. We have the toolpath that we calculated for the, the Bezier and line moves. If we just copy that toolpath, so I'm going to say toolpath copy, copy toolpath. This gives me a second identical toolpath. If we select the new geometry, remember this is now lines and arcs, no Bezier spans. If we call this profile two, so exactly the same setting, same depth, same cutter, profiling on the on the line, and we say calculate. Close the form. If we save this toolpath, so save using the save same post processor, so save profile two, save the file. If we say save again, you'll see that now the original lines and Bezier curve file was 42 kilobytes. The new one, which is based on the arc fitted geometry, is only 15 kilobytes. So almost a third of the size of the, the toolpath that was calculated with lines and Bezier curves. So just to explain what we did again, if we close, go back to the drawing tab, we selected the vectors in the two dimensional view and we use the arc fitting tool to fit circular arcs within a tolerance to convert Bezier spans to circular arc moves. And this will make quite a difference to the toolpath file size and on some machines will also improve the, the smoothness of the motion when cutting. Thank you.